Hi everyone, welcome back to Office Mystic. In this video, we're going to go over the to call function. But before we continue, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel out and it makes all of this worthwhile. All right, let's get started. So the to call function allows you to transform a range of cells into a single column. We addressed this in another video, but I did get a follow up question from the Queb. Uh, who left a comment on our video converting rows into a single column asking, is there a way to have it skip cells with no data? And then it turns out there is a much better and faster way of going about it. I used what now looks like a convoluted way of combining all of those rows into one column by using the index function along with a lot of other functions. But as of 2020, there is a new function called to call, which will do all of the work for you. I'm just amazed by it. I wish I'd known about this sooner. All right, so here you see on the screen this sample data. All you have to do is hit the equal sign, type to call, open paren, select your array or your range. In this case, we'll just highlight this, hit comma, and now here you have your options. Keep all values, which is the default, which is zero, or ignore blanks, or ignore errors, or ignore both, blanks and errors. So in this case, we're just gonna ignore the blanks. So we're gonna put a one. And then when you hit comma again, you'll get the default of false, which is scan by row or scan by column. But you really can just end the formula here. So we close paren, hit enter. And here it is. This very short function took the place of a ridiculously long index formula I used before. And let's say you did fill in the blanks later. You just say type it in here, 20. And you'll see it appears over here. Even here. This is fantastic. Um, it's out, as I said, as of 2020, and you'll need either Excel 2021 or Excel 365. Well, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions about any other functions, uh, please leave a comment below. As you can see, I will address them when I can, and I will be returning to this channel more frequently now that I've finished my MBA, so I have time during the evenings and the weekends to devote to this. Thank you and have a great day.